Dear civil engineers, in our previous lecture, we have analyzed that model and in this lecture, I have told you that we will design that model and if they have any problem, we will solve that. Okay. So, um, to design that model, first of all, we have to analyze. So, I am just going to analyze and I will use run. Okay. And after analyzing, I will go for design. So, it is analyzing please stay with us and if you're new to our channel then i'll request to please subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first so restructure is okay i will just use show undeformed shape so okay this is our undeformed shape and we have analyzed our model now we'll go for design okay so before design or by clicking here we can go for design so we'll go for concrete design first of all we'll see um, view design preferences for which code will design so we'll design for ACA 31814 okay for that code and they have BTC standard then euro code they have many code Indian code many types of code are available so we'll use our design code as ACA and uh, envelopes it's okay you can um, read every description from here then everything is available and you can read everything from here okay and i'll just click okay after that um others we can change here by clicking that arrow then select design combination it's already have selected all combo have selected and we'll do not do anything with that so this is for a strength then I'll just click OK when done uh, we see if they need anything so no need to change anything to do now simply we'll click here a start design or check for a start here so I'll simply click here and it will start designing our I mean it will start to design our model so we have to wait for that and to see is it on is our model is okay or not after completing our design so after con uh, completing our model we're seeing that some frame are okay and some frame are not okay i mean some beam or column are not okay so i'll just go here i will first of all i'll see very analysis and design that are okay yes that is okay and after that i'll go here and verify all member have so we are seeing that 43 concrete frame fails stress or capacity check or not designed do you want to select them yes i want to select them and i want to also see them so right click and see here show selection only so just see here here uh, we have only one column right only one column here this is the only one column we have and uh, the rest of the structure is beam that are failing in capacity check okay they are failing in capacity check so i will just click here pre-select pre-select okay i will use pre-select for that beam and i'll just deselect that column and after that i'll just unlock the model and i'll just go here assign then frame then property modifier and from here i will consider as they are failing for capacity check that's why or over stress that's why i will not consider a uh, torsional constant okay what is the meaning of torsional constant actually i have already created a video on it the what is the torsional constant or why we will use torsional constant zero or almost zero the torsional constant means when a torsion will create it on beam then it will carry full torsion by itself right it will carry full torsion by itself but if we give zero then it will make a combination with its uh, column or with slab to transfer that torsional uh, i mean value and it will make a combination right so uh, sometimes if our beam are being first of all we'll consider that all all of our beam will consider torsional constant and if 
it's failing then we'll transfer to beam and column so um, when it's done I'll just give a 0, uh, 0 0.01 okay I'll give a 0 0.01 I actually or 0 0.001 then I'll click apply then okay after that I'll right click then show wall and simply I'll click here run analysis and we'll see it is okay or not again again we'll do same process what we have done previous so here we are seeing that our analysis have done now we'll similarly I'll just simply click here and I'll go for design and after design I'll we'll see again that our structure is okay or not okay so uh, I hope this time we'll see a big difference with our previous now uh, see here I'll just go arrow I'll click arrow and view all number have passed now see previous time that was 43 now that is 10 concrete member are failing so I'll again select yes and again I'll show selected all only now here they have some if I right click then it's also failing in overstress right so I just cancel and and now they have two columns okay so what I'll do actually uh, again dislike that or unlock that So where is our uh, some structure, 10 structure where two are columns and another, I mean rest, edge or beam. So what we'll do actually, they have many ways. We can increase the size of beam, right? We can increase the size of beam, this is the first procedure. And second procedure is we can decrease the torsional constant, okay? So um, I hope after that it will be okay right so i will what i will do actually i'll show everything show wall actually i'll select wall beam and to pass that i mean so, so that i can do everything quickly and for your time you have to do professionally so here i'll select that uh, beam 10 into 5 select then when it's done okay when it's done now i'll go for b10 into 15 and when it's done i'll just close and i'll just um, go here assign then frame and i'll do frame uh, property modifier and i'll just give here 0 0.01 uh, 0 0.001 for all then apply okay and uh, one thing i'll do also i'll increase the size of column right i'll increase the size of column so uh, here okay uh, first of all let's let's check again so run then run analysis actually a uh, same way I have um, designed that I mean I mean I mean I have run design for our structure and now if I see now it's showing us concrete um, frames fails so now they have three and we're seeing here here one two and three both are columns actually uh, first of all first time they have one column second after second uh, modification it's showing two columns and after third modification it's showing three columns actually why it's showing like that because when we have defined that beam will not carry torsional constant I mean torsion then what will do beam actually beam will transfer that torsional force or torsional value to columns and slab then they have to carry that but it's uh, if i right click that i'll just close that and if i right click that and if i go a summary and if i so see that and here it's showing us over stress this week beam column capacity ratio exist limit right I mean beam column the capacity ratio of beam column they are not okay I mean it's existing so what do we have to do actually 
again I will increase the size of column and I hope it will be okay so what I'll do I'll select that three columns that one oh, sorry and from the hello I'll select that that and what are the another one I'll do it again yeah yeah select so that one that one so I'll see my change full model okay we'll change total shape of that column and after that we'll see is it okay or not so here I'll just little bit move that uh, this time okay and I'll select that on that on that one. so we have selected that after that I'll unlock okay and I'll just go assign then frame then frame section and here that is column 12 into 18 now I'll just go for modify defense section I will take a new section and I'll just copy off the property and I'll take C 15 into 15 okay to clean into 15 inch here inch and okay so here 15 to 15 is then okay then 15 to 15 is apply and okay so we have changed that column section the three columns for 15 to 15 is section now again we'll similarly we'll go for analysis and after that we'll see is it okay or not so actually it's taking time that's why i'll run analysis and after completing our analysis i'll come back our analysis have done now i'll just simply click here to design our structure again so after completing design i'll come back now uh, our analysis have done okay our analysis have done and uh, again i'll just go for view all member first just see now only one member have not passed our design check what is that that is that okay, this is the member here is the member right so in that way you have to again change that section now a uh, little bit increase the size of that section i'm not going to change that in this way just you have to do that so i'm going for the next step so what i'll do actually now i'll just come here show design info and this is the that is the longitudinal reinforcement bar then river percent is i'll just click okay now we'll see the percentage of river so first of all i'll go why is it and i'll go top so if we see here here it's showing us the percentage of river we record actually right the percentage of river we record actually it's showing us here how much percent of river here required okay and uh, if we go top again if we go top again if we go top again if we go top so here's the top as the next one so in the bottom i mean in the bottom beam it's showing more reinforcement required record than top beam and now if we go for columns and here we're seeing that for all columns we record one percent it's showing the uh, cause the column always show the, the minimum requirement of reinforcement so if we go for next and if we go for next here for here for here and for here actually for everywhere it's we record minimum one percent reinforcement right we record minimum one percent reinforcement with respect to our section and if i right click on that and if i see summary then our design check is okay okay our design check is okay and here you will get every data 
for that so I'll just close that so finally we have successfully completed that how we will design beam and column for our structure okay so after designing that what we have to do actually we have to um, one thing we can see from here actually design it so actually there are many things actually share reinforcement yeah how much share reinforcement you got where we can see that right how much share reinforcement you got at which section we can see that also and uh, what we'll do actually after completing all that things and design everything is okay display everything is okay actually we can see the show table so we can see the design data we can see the design data in table design forces design for data then concrete frame then here we can see data for uh, data from only okay so when it's done we can click here okay and here we have to wait for some time and actually after completing our design what do we have to do actually we have to do detailing for our beam and column section right and we'll create another video to show that how will analysis for uh, when how will analysis for and design for slab for foundation I'll show you about everything and how we do that at a time by using SAP software I'll also show you about that okay actually it's, it's taking time to get that data okay so please wait while data uh, while table display initialize actually I am screening that's why it's taking time okay so here it's loading and it will take huge time to add that data and we have to wait until it's loading so uh, actually that was our video and after that actually uh, you'll be able to see that data as usual and after from here you'll be able to change for what data I mean for what things you are going to get that data so actually uh, you know next lecture I'll show that how we'll design for our stair slab and for our main slab floor slab or roof slab and after that we'll show you in another lecture that how we'll design our foundation and which types of foundation is required for our structure so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and i hope uh, you'll be connected to us and you'll support us so thank you